Welcome back uh, everyone to uh, another video. So now that uh, we have created our um, first uh, project, uh, we're going to see how we can go online with our uh, PLC uh, in this video. So let's go. So the first thing uh, we want to do is we want to open up um, what we call RS uh, links. Uh, classic which is responsible of establishing the uh, communication between our uh, PC and the uh, PLC so we have our RS links classic uh, open here and then the first thing we're gonna do is um, we are going to add a driver so uh, we're going to communicate uh, first with uh, the USB and then I'm going to show you also how we can connect Ethernet and also uh, serial <coughs> so for the, um, the USB um, communication we just plug our cable as you can see here and then automatically it shows up the USB in here and it's going to show up show us our um, processor and then here's our backplane and here's our um, devices or modules in that in that rack as you can see here so it's just as simple as that so once that is showing up like this uh, that's mean uh, everything is communicating okay we can minimize the RS links classic now and then we can go here in our uh, project select communication path and then there we have here uh, USB so we'll select that and then here's our processor showing up and then we can just say go line and um, obviously the uh, project we have right now in the process is not matching what we've got here so we're just going to go ahead and say download <coughs> so we're gonna get rid of whatever project we had uh, originally in there and replace it with this one here and then we're gonna be able to uh, be online so like right now we're in remote program mode and I'm gonna go to run mode and and there we go so right now we are online with our processor and the processor is in OK state so that's one way of uh, going online with the processor uh, the second way I'm going to show you here is via uh, the Ethernet, um, the Ethernet uh, module, and then again I'm going to go to um, the RS links. Now this time I'm going to have to add a driver, so I'm going to add uh, an Ethernet uh, IP driver. So with Ethernet, there's actually two drivers you can use. So the Ethernet IP or Ethernet devices. Uh, I personally prefer the Ethernet devices, um, which require you to know what is the IP addresses and all that. Uh, but it makes uh, it make the traffic less behind the scenes because the PLC know exactly where to go. Versus Ethernet IP, which uh, it keep broadcasting uh, behind the scenes. So, so let's use Ethernet IP driver first, and then we'll uh, we'll uh, look at the other one. So this is my card right there. And it uh, shows it's running, so I can close this. And now I can see here, here is my Ethernet module that's already shown up. Here's my uh, modules, and here's my process and everything. And it, here it says my first project. So that's uh, all the settings in here. Again, with the same way, go back to my project, click on here, <coughs> and then go to Ethernet this time select that and then select the Ethernet module expand that and here's our processor and again I can go online uh, with my processor via Ethernet uh, now the other way like I was saying uh, we can use the other driver which is also an Ethernet driver and Ethernet devices just to show you here now in here, like I said, you need to know what's the IP address of your PLC. So I know that was 1.25 and then hit OK. 
and then close and then as you can see here here's the other driver now if I open it up here it found it and again all the devices here and with the same way I can go again here to RS links and now I'm gonna say just go through this driver um, instead of the Ethernet IP and it will be the same same way go online and we're, here we go, we are all lined with the uh, PLC uh, again. So as we see here, we, we have seen so far uh, two ways, uh, via USB or via Ethernet. The next one I'm going to show you is via serial port. Um, and in that case, I'm going to go line with a different processor, the uh, L6 series, because the L7 does not have a serial port, uh, just to uh, show you that. So I am going to just go offline. Uh, with that like this <coughs> I'm gonna plug here the serial so with the serial uh, communication uh, what you want to do is you go to RS links again and then you click on the drivers here and then we're gonna pick the RS232 DF1 uh, devices so the DF1 is the uh, native protocol for Rockwell. So as we can see here, okay. So as we see here, it's uh, we do auto configure and it successfully find uh, find it. So we can say okay now, and we can see here it's running. Uh, we can close that, and now if we open up this. Uh, we'll find here our uh, processor that we're connected to, which is the L6, uh, L6 C3. And with the same, um, with the same way, we can go to here, and we'll find our driver right there. And then we can go click on this to be. Uh, able to go line with it and obviously because it's a different project and a different processor altogether um, it's not gonna it's not gonna match so we have to uh, close this uh, project completely and then um, we can do like an upload from here which will upload that project and go line with the process. And since we are using the L6 uh, series, um, we, we cannot use more. So as you can see here, the interface just changed because the highest uh, version you can use with the L6 is version 20. So that's why you saw the interface just changed back to the RS Logix 5000 rather than the uh, Studio 5000. So I just want to show you that as well, so you're uh, you're aware. So as you can see here, we are now all lined with our um, processor uh, via the serial uh, via the serial uh, driver. Uh, so I hope uh, so I hope uh, the video was uh, uh, useful, and uh, if uh, you like the content, please uh, subscribe and. Uh, share with your friend uh, so we can continue uh, putting together uh, this type of content.